I've run some robots, but I'm expected by the end to run all top level robots so I can start a body from scratch right through the finished product. The Starburst project was a, a project that was set up to help get a, a dump body to go through a robot without having to come back down the line, which was a safety issue. So what we did was we got together as a team and we worked out if we cut certain parts out of different plates on the body, we could send it straight through the robot, which like, significantly reduced the safety risk of the operators and it, overall quality, time that could do the job and things. It's the best decision I've ever made in my life. Uh, I've been here to get my first house with my fiance. Uh, I've been here to go on many different courses within the company, keep learning at the same time, which I think is important, and get paid for it. You're getting paid, you're learning. You earn a skill that's going to be there for life at the end of the day. My name is Michael Kendi. I'm a team leader of the Dumb Body Line. Andrew came to me about three years ago. He's, um, they had to do six months at each department, uh, so he came to the Dumb Body Line. I maybe took a shine on. Um, very, very nice lad. Uh, polite, everything. Andrew's key qualities are his, uh, his intelligence, his work ethic, um, his detail for all jobs that he does, everything he does right. I can trust him to do anything, you, you can trust him. Um, his punctuality, I don't think he's ever been late in all the time that he's been here. I started the practice approximately six, seven years ago as a receptionist. I worked for one of the busiest doctors in the practice, Dr Lavelle. Um, lots and lots and lots of work. Um, but I wanted to be more involved with the patients, so I then asked if I could become a phlebotomist, um, which is um, a person that just takes bloods, doesn't do all the other things a healthcare assistant would do, such as blood pressures and things. Again, I did that and uh, I, I really enjoyed it, but wanted more patient contact and just every time it came up to my appraisal every year I just kept asking if I could do more clinical clinical um, and eventually the practice agreed um, and let me uh, go to Redcar and Cleveland College do the apprenticeship award and be a healthcare assistant which I've now been doing for a year. So I've now applied for the um, health studies and health science which is the uh, nurse access course. For anybody else thinking about doing an apprenticeship I would say it's very worthwhile, it's very um, it's, it's a brilliant course, um, it took me a long way, it gives you all the practical knowledge and theoretical knowledge that you need to back you up in the practical skills that you get. It is just a wonderful working relationship, all of the practice work really, really well together. I think the apprenticeship programme has helped her because it's given her obviously a structure to, to work to. She's extremely good with people, she puts people at their ease, uh, people are able to relate to her and talk to her. Um, whatever role she's in and she, she's also an extremely quick and enthusiastic learner so she's, she's always full of uh, questions and ideas. During my time with Northumberland Young Firefighters Association I've organised events such as drill competitions such as summer camps, Christmas parties, I've organised the promotion of young firefighters and developed the programme which they follow to be able to get their BTEC qualification in fire and rescue services in the community. I chose an apprenticeship because I fancied a challenge. I wanted to get straight into a workplace rather than continue an education in your normal school-based environment. I wanted to get into a different environment. I wanted to be able to see the impact of the work that I was doing to be able to develop the young people who I'm working with and to give them a second chance in life that they might not have had. Working for Northumberland Fire and Rescue Service is absolutely fabulous. All of my colleagues and my managers are very supportive throughout my time. I've managed to give lots of young people qualifications. I've managed to help young fire setters see the error of their ways. I've managed to go into people's homes and potentially protect their lives by fitting smoke alarms inside their properties. I feel that I've inspired young people from around the community to prove to them that if you've got a dream, you can follow it, you can chase it, even in the difficult times that we're in now. I've always wanted to work for the Fire and Rescue Service, and here I am. I would say that Connor is kind of like an exceptional breed of apprentice. Um, even when I met him at interview, I was quite aware that he was going to have an impact on the organisation. He really takes on every single challenge in any area of work he's given because he recognises that that's going to contribute to his knowledge and he wants to give something back to this organisation and also to the community. He wants to do more than just the simple day-to-day -day tasks you could give him. He wants to prove himself. 